Hear that? Hissing toilet. So if you get down really close, it's leaking right here. See that? It's kind of pouring over it. You can see the water kind of glistening. Here's a quick, easy way to do that, how to fix it. This is a Kohler toilet. So I'm going to take this top off. It snaps in right here on the sides, if you see. Now, we can pop this part out. Oops, see that? We pop this part out, right? See how that pops out? Okay, and just so we won't get ourselves all wet, I'm gonna go behind the toilet. Okay, do I need to see this part? <laughs> yeah. And I'm just gonna turn the water off. Excellent. Okay, so something's clogging this. This fill valve is clogged, so you're gonna turn it a quarter turn, you're gonna pull that up. See this rubber gasket? First thing we're gonna do is clean that. It feels all gritty. So there's a lot of mineral deposits where we are. Look at all that. See all those mineral deposits down in there, that white stuff? We're gonna clean that real quick. Quick, easy way to clean that. Look, just gonna use the brush that we clean our toilet with. Gonna scrape that out. You can see it's already back to back in black, as ACDC would say. See all those deposits right there? Now, depending on how long it's been in there and what it's doing, see how all those deposits are out? Okay, let me get a little bit in here. Some water in there make sure that's all cleared out now I'm just gonna put it back together so literally we're gonna push see it goes right through there in the center I'm gonna push that back down sounds like it's grippy licious gonna put it back in there quarter turn back the other way I'm gonna take the floater I'm gonna pop that floater back in there and this is how you adjust the floater up and down if you might need it. Okay, now, just so we don't squirt everywhere, I'm gonna keep my hand here. Just turn this back on. Remember how we were squirting out the top a second ago? No longer squirting out the top. So I think we got it. It looks like there's still some water running out from back here, see that? So, let's make sure it's on there tight. Yeah, there it goes. There she blows, Captain. There she blows. All right, I'm gonna turn it off again. Unplug or pull off that floater. Just pull it straight out. Another quarter turn, pull it up. So, we want to look at, it still looks like there's still some debris down in there. Hope the camera's picking that up. You can see those little black specks down in there. And then we want to feel, oh, I feel a lot of grit here again. So maybe we just need to flush that out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cup, put it over here, we're gonna turn the water back on. And that is some good pressure. We're gonna give it about 30 seconds. If you look, it's coming out, I can only see it coming out of the center. I don't see it coming out of the sides anywhere. Put it back on itself, that way hopefully it'll scrape. Scrape things out, create a little vortex on the side. All right. Who's a clean boy? That's what happened to us when we didn't have the cup. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put that back on. Put the cap back on. You don't have to take the cap off. Just so you know, you can 
you can just turn it a quarter turn and take the whole thing off. I took the cap off so I could look for leaks earlier. All right, turn the motor back on. Maybe I'll fast forward this part. It's right towards the top anyway. I think on irons we're gonna have to replace the whole thing because the floater was sticking down low and we were having to come in. You can still hear it hitting the bottom of the cap, that hiss. It's normally what, where that hiss comes from is when water's still coming up and hitting the back of that cap. So, let's see how that small little spray coming right there on that little corner. If you want to get the camera down and see it. And it just won't stop. So the seal is not, the reason why it stops when I do that is because it's pushing it out the side. Uh, we thoroughly cleaned that. There's nothing else to clean. There's nothing else in there. So let's turn off the water so we don't waste water. I'm just gonna leave it like that in case my kid comes in and uses a bathroom and squirt their back. <laughs> Cause you know that's a fun thing to do. All right, we're back from the back from the hardware store. So we're gonna flush the toilet while that drains. I'm going to pull off. You know we actually don't need to pull the chain off. So the water is already off. The toilet is drained. I'm going to pull it up just to drain as much water as we can. I'm going to leave it held up. Good. Now, this over here, can you see this down here? This little... Can you see that? There's a little piece on the bottom. I'll show you on this one. We're going to lift this. This tightens it down. We're gonna lift that so the component's gonna come off. So I take that little gray piece and pull it up. Okay, now once that's up, I'm gonna unplug this. There we go. Now this will come right off. So there's the old leaky one. You can see how old that is. Look at the plastic. So I'll dry it out. I'm going to take this, slide it down, and then lock it on. We want to make sure our height was right at the top. We want to make sure the height is matched. So the height was right there. I'm going to take that little gray thing, push it back down. So I basically set it on there, and then I pulled it down to, oop, that's too far, but I pulled it down to lock it in. Look at all those mineral deposits. I don't know if those are showing up on camera. It's all gritty. See that on my finger? So if you live in an area like we do with a lot of mineral deposits, that's uh, that could do it. So I'm plugging. Last thing, see how this is gray? You always want to match the color. So in the, in the bag that comes with it, you'll see all different colors. We're going to put that gray one on there. See how it goes on? So, clicks right in on the side, push the hose back in. So it looks just like it did in the beginning, right? So we're gonna turn the water back on. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> you shouldn't. You should never stick your head right over the valve when you turn it on because it can spray you in the face. But this is going to take a minute. If you want to adjust the level, if you turn this counterclockwise, it'll make a higher level. Turn it clockwise, it'll make it a lower level. If that's incorrect, just flip the direction. And uh, you want it at the same rate. Some people want to save some water, just adjust it down a little bit lower. So I like to adjust mine low, because if it's a PP, I don't need to use a lot of water. If it's a poop, I just hold the flush, the little lever down just a little bit longer. 
So that's it. We'll wait for it to fill up and then we'll give you a test flush. Hear that? No, you don't hear anything because the hissing stopped. We fixed the problem. That's where it is. Look at that, no hissing. Everything is good, everything is great. Check the flush. Oops, sounds like a tight seal. It's gonna fill back up. So that was it, we went through all the steps. So first thing we did is we took the cap off to see where it was leaking. We cleaned the little rubber valve underneath. Um, we checked the valve, the uh, little rubber gaskets uh, down here. Normally if you just clean those, that's fine. You wanna check the chain. Sometimes if the chain gets wound up, look at that, no noise. If the chain gets wound up, that could cause the problem. We showed you how to clean it. We showed you how to change the assembly. Uh, we did not change the bottom on ours because they were the same shape. If you replace it uh, with the new one, I generally say change everything out, but uh, as long as you have the proper color with color, so the black ones you want to make sure to look on the website and get the black one. There's also a light gray one. So that's it. That's how you replace a Kohler uh, toilet um, and you make it stop pissing. Thanks for watching.